Since 1912, when the first Oreo cookie was made, the Oreos brand has grown to mean much more than just cookies. It's as much a part of American culture as baseball and Oprah Winfrey. The delicious cream-filled chocolate cookies are a fan favorite in several countries around the world. And if you're watching this video, you likely have a weakness for Oreo cookies as well. But have you ever wondered how Oreos are made? Well, today's your lucky day because we're taking a deep dive into the process of making Oreo cookies from start to finish. Before we learn how Oreos are made, let's learn a little bit about how we even got here in the first place. Where did Oreos originate from? Oreos was first launched in 1912 by Jacob Luce and his brother Joseph Luce. At the time, biscuits in America had one flaw. They were hard, flavorless, and tasteless because the primary concern of bakeries at the time was making biscuits that could be stored for long periods. Jacob and Joseph saw an opportunity to make a difference, and they took it. They developed a recipe that used cocoa powder to make the cookie dough delicious and distinct. Then they came up with a brilliant invention, vanilla cream filling. Other bakeries at the time were using harmful fillers like chalk and brick dust in their products to reduce production costs. With their cookie recipe and cream filling ready, the Luce brothers needed a name for their product. To reflect the purity of their cookies, since they weren't using those harmful practices, they decided to name their cookie Hydrox from the chemical elements of water, hydrogen, and oxygen, because water was pure and their cookies were pure. You get the gist. Well, where did the name Oreos come from? Well, Jacob and Joseph's company, Sunshine Biscuits, was battling one great enemy at the time, Nabisco. Nabisco and the Luce brothers had a history involving betrayals, conglomerates, backstabbing, etc. Nabisco, short for National Biscuit Company, was operating at a loss while Sunshine Biscuits Hydrox took over the market. So, what did Nabisco do? They basically stole the entire Hydrox idea. They started making chocolate cookies with cream filling, even using an identical flour pattern to design them. But Nabisco decided to name their cookies Oreos. Here's a fun fact. The name Oreos derives from the flour pattern embossed on each Oreo cookie, which was inspired by the plant Oreo Daphne. This design was, of course, the brainchild of the Luce brothers. Now that you know a bit about Oreos, let's walk through its production process. Over 60 billion Oreo cookies are sold yearly worldwide, with about 20 billion sold in the U.S. alone. That's an insane number of cookies to be made every day. So, the first thing to know about the production process is that it involves using several heavy-duty machines which are designed to fast-track the cookie-making process. The first step in making Oreo cookies is meticulously preparing the cookie dough that forms the foundation of this beloved treat. They carefully measure out a precise amount of premium flour, ensuring the perfect balance of lightness and structure. Next, they add just the right amount of granulated sugar, which not only adds sweetness, but also acts as a magical ingredient that contributes to the cookie's irresistibly crisp exterior. To achieve the ideal moisture and richness, they skillfully incorporate vegetable oil, which infuses the dough with a luxurious silkiness that enhances the overall experience. Then they add leavening agents, such as baking soda, baking powder, salt, and of course, cocoa powder to give it that distinct look and taste. The flour used in making Oreos is wheat flour, which is sourced from local farmers. The cocoa powder is made in local factories from cocoa beans imported from countries like Ghana, Ivory Coast, and Nigeria. Each ingredient must meet a certain quality standard to ensure that only high-grade products are produced. Similarly, the factories must be kept squeaky clean to prevent the spread of germs or other infections that could contaminate the cookies. Then, the workers shovel the cookie dough onto a grate and press it into a molding machine. The molding machine cuts the dough into individual cookie slices, and then they're molded into a standard Oreo cookie. A roller with the signature Oreo design is pressed onto the cookies, embossing them with the classic design. This machine produces a whopping 5,000 cookies per hour. Next, the cookies are placed on a silicone conveyor belt and transferred to a metal one for the baking process. These conveyor belts spread heat across the cookies evenly, making them crisp and well-baked as the belt moves through an industrial oven for about 12 minutes. When they come out on the other side, they're crisp and ready for the cream filling. They must be left to cool. While the cookies are cooling, the cream filling is prepared using powdered sugar, high fructose corn syrup, soy lecithin, vanilla flavor, and canola oil. The factory also adds a special ingredient that they never release to the public, which makes the filling so delicious. Once the filling is prepared, it's loaded onto a pump, through which it's dispensed onto the cookies evenly and precisely. Meanwhile, the now-cooled cookies are loaded onto another conveyor belt, which feeds them into chutes. The cookies are passed through ramps designed to ensure they fall a certain way. 
One group falls face down, showing the design pattern, while the other falls face up, revealing the plain side. This second side forms the bottom of the finished cookie, where the filling will be placed. Now, for the next step, a pump deposits the filling onto the bottom part of the cookie. They then move to another machine that presses the top cookie onto the bottom cream-filled one to ensure they stick together. The machine does this gently to avoid the cookies being smashed or cracked. Afterward, the cookies are inspected for defects. Any cookie that's been cracked, chipped, filled inadequately, or otherwise imperfect will be discarded, probably for the workers to take home to their families after a hard day at work. The cookies are now assembled so mechanical tongs can separate them into bunches. Next, grippers swing into action to move each bunch forward and release them into plastic trays. The trays are now packaged into larger boxes or containers and shipped to different distributors. The distributors then send them to retailers and malls where you can pick them up and enjoy them with your cup of milk. Oreos are produced in 18 countries and sold in over 100 countries worldwide. About 60 billion cookies are sold yearly, so the manufacturing process must be fast, and it is. Each batch of Oreo cookies contains about 3,000 cookies, and it takes about 90 minutes to make each batch. Some factories produce up to 1 billion packs of Oreo cookies yearly. Remember when we talked about Hydrox? Well, here's a fun fact. A man named Ilya Kasov decided to bring back the Hydrox brand. He bought the Hydrox trademark and started producing it under his company Leaf Brands. Today, Hydrox is available in a few stores in the U.S., but it can also be ordered from the website. Maybe you can buy Oreos and Hydrox and compare the taste of both brands. Once you're done, make sure to let us know the verdict, okay? Oreos are enjoyed by millions of people all over the world, and it remains one of the most influential cookie brands in the world. Oreo has benefited from several advantages that made it a top cookie brand. One of those advantages is its unique taste and flavor. Even after a hundred years of being on the market, Oreos taste heavenly, especially when combined with a warm cup of milk. Another advantage Oreo has had is its brilliant marketing strategies over the decades. Oreos has been marketed as the original cookie, with several ads that portray Oreos as unique, fun to eat, fun to dunk, and fun to share with others. What more could a fan ask for? So, it's not just the delicious taste of Oreos that keeps fans coming back for more, it's the entire experience surrounding the brand. Oreo has successfully positioned themselves as more than just a cookie. They've become a symbol of joy, connection, and playfulness, making every bite of an Oreo a moment to cherish and share with others. And with that, you know how Oreos are made and how much care goes into each cookie. So. What's your favorite Oreo cookie flavor? And have you ever tried making Oreos at home? Share with us how the experience felt. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.